Okay, so I'm copying some tapes here. This one's from 2001. These 2001 tapes are just terrible. Like, they're so boring. All I do is talk about the lottery. It's just ridiculous, man. Anyway, there's my computer over here. I'll get back to this in a minute. I wanted to show you. Oh, I hung this up, by the way. And I got my Amiibos. Kind of starting to go wrap around here. Anyway, there's my phone. I just had to film this real quick because this is hilarious. We are cleaning our combs. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to remember that because it's so funny. Yup. Battleground Wisconsin. Uh oh. Ooh, glad I got out while I was ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I guess the door doesn't work the shut by itself. It swings open if I close it, so I have to put a fan there. But anyway, um,. This is my new PC, and uh, this morning it was like disconnected from the network, which sometimes it just does that, I don't know why, but I thought, you know, I tried to make it connected, it just wouldn't do it, so I thought maybe I just need to restart it, so I did that. When I did that, it wouldn't get back on. Now it's about 11.30 this morning, now it is currently almost 7.30, almost 8 hours now. And I've been unable to get it to start. It gets to the Dell splash screen and it just sits there. So, so I've kind of looked around online. I've done a number of different things. I actually went so far as to reinstall Windows because it said there was an option. Because sometimes if I unplugged it and then plugged it back in like five minutes later, it would go to a self repair thing. But then it would ask me how I wanted to do it. And there was like a million different menus and one of them had like six different options and anyway well so, you know so I tried to repair whatever would work you know and some of those things took like an hour to do and but then they wouldn't work and I tried reinstalling Windows that didn't work either and when I started reinstalling Windows that was about 4 p.m. and I thought okay I need to wait to pass the time so I went to the movies and I saw 10 Cloverfield Lane which is really actually pretty good pretty good movie um I'm not a movie reviewer like Ali used to be but I'd probably give it three and a half stars out of five. So anyway, so anyway, what I have here is Google Images searching for CPU battery. Because this is my latest solution. And I'm sorry that all my vlogs have been about computer repair lately and not something more interesting like my poop pillow, which is falling through over there. Well, that's my sweater that I wore to Easter Sunday church. Anyway, the poop pillow, yes. Of course, I put Ninja or Giga Gaia in there. Giga 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 is so hard to see. It's my calendar. I'm pretty soon it's going to be April. I don't want to talk about that. But anyway, I'm sure you know why. If you don't know why, well, you will soon. Because <laughs> I will make a vlog about that. I'm sorry, but that's like too important of a moment in life to not say something about. So we, there will be something about that. So I guess the next thing I need to do here is uh, because the most common solution that I found is to unplug it but that's not enough because there's a battery in the computer and you need to take that out because it's like a discharge of static you need to discharge static from it so that's what I'm gonna try to do and hopefully this works but I'm gonna need to unscrew this thing so actually I forgot to get a screwdriver so I will be right back in a second here to most of these tapes I'm not even listening to them as I copy them I'm just doing it so basically like okay let me give you a little since I'm doing this since I'm having this huge project here, let me explain a little bit about the tape copying. These are my tapes. All right, so we have, oops, I can't even see that. Wait, let me turn the screen. So these are the rest of my tapes. This is everything I have left to copy as far as audio tapes go. I have some DVDs, but I think I just leave them on DVD. There's no need to copy them to a computer. So each of those holds four. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, I don't know how many tapes that is. It looks like maybe a little over a hundred and they could be anywhere from ones like this that are 90 minutes long. You see MC 90 in the middle, that's 90 minutes per side. So that tape right there is three hours of material, you know, and you got a hundred of these. I mean, I don't know. Some of them are only 60 minutes and also some of them I played at uh, double speed, which means they're only 30 minutes and not 60. But even that, best case scenario, is still an hour per side, or 30 minutes per side, which is an hour total to copy that one tape. So you're still looking at at least 100 hours, and most of them are 90 minutes, and most of them I've played at the slow speed. 
but I don't know what percentage of them are all, you know, because there's quite a few that are 30 minutes in there too, or 60 or whatever, but anyway. So here's what we're going to do. And see, the thing is, I've never done this before. So, oh, hi. What's up? Well, I mean, it's not that important that you can see what I'm doing. What's important is that you know what I'm feeling, which is a fair bit of intimidation, to be sure. So I'm just going to unplug these two things and leave them over here. Well, whatever this is. How is it 2016 and we're still using cables for everything? Like, seriously. It's gotten a little bit ridiculous, you know? Oh, you know what? This cable I don't even need because that's my 3DS. That's how I capture sound from the 3DS. My 3DS capture wasn't working anyway. What I need to do is get in here and take the battery out of the motherboard. And then discharge the static, I guess. I mean, that was like... I don't know. There was like a hundred people on that question that wanted to know what to do. And most of them were happy with that response. So obviously this is something that happens to a lot of people I figure well if I'm one of those people then I need to know what the majority solution is so here's the thing I hear people all the time talking about building their own computers and I'm wondering if that's not something I should like seriously look into because everyone has said that's the better way to go about it it's cheaper it just takes a little bit of work is all okay so let me just go ahead and show you uh, this is what it does it gets to this screen right here and it sits there it sits there, and then it sits there some more, and it basically just keeps it sitting there. Now, what I don't know, I'm also going to try, if this doesn't work, I'm going to try that reset button with it on. See if that doesn't do anything. I can already tell you it's not doing anything. It never stays on that screen. Wait. Wait. No. You got my hopes up there, dude. Why'd you flash like that? Installing Windows. What? 64%? I just turned it on. How is it at 64%? See, this is what I did earlier. I left and went to see the movie because it got to 3%. And it just stopped there. And I read online that, well, sometimes this takes a while and it gets hung up at certain percent. So after I read that, I thought, because some people said it took, like, hours. I could sit on a certain percent for hours. So I went and saw the movie, figuring, you know, maybe it would be done when I got home. When I got home, it was back on the Dell Splash screen again. So I figured it must have gotten done, and now it's trying to restart, and it still doesn't work. Now it's telling me that it's in the middle of this process that I left it alone with, like, two starts, two or three starts ago. <laughs> two or three restarts ago. Because so I had to stop singing over there. He's singing. He won't stop singing along to the oldies. He was over there singing, like, Crackling Rosie earlier. I was like, shut the fuck up. What else did he sing? It's like the most annoying songs you could possibly think of. He's singing along all of these over there. Give me the big boys and free us. Somebody did say in my latest vlog that I look like I hadn't slept in two weeks. Um, well, yeah, my sleep could be better. I've been planning on seeing a sleep specialist for a while now. Just need to get around to it. So I started like this little schedule thing over here. And maybe this will help me keep in line all the stuff that I have to do. So, I mean, that's that's out of date right there. I'm done practicing that. I'm going to do the rest of that blind. So I pretty much know what happens up to Elysia, but that's about it. <laughs> Otherwise, this is what I do. Update the playlists, you know, make a vlog. I want to try to start doing that. I'll check the Gmail at least twice a week. And then, of course, the stream and practice. So that's the deal. And if anyone somehow is on this channel that doesn't know about my streams, twitch.tv slash Nintendo Capri Sun, Tuesday nights and Friday nights at 7. Here it goes again! He's singing up on the roof. What? Now I know how you guys feel listening to me singing all those videos. Oh, that's not even up on the roof, that's on the boardwalk. Oh, but, but, the boardwalk. <laughs> of course I love to burp in the middle of it too. Oh man! Anyway, so you know what? I'm gonna say goodbye. See you later. Bye! See you on the 5th. If not sooner, definitely the 5th of April. See ya.